right space. Ten step march. a message to Governor Spitzer and placed a call to action. Thankfully, Governor Spitzer kept his word and has started the ball moving toward addressing this long-term funding problem that we have in the state. It's about fairness, it's about equality, it's about justice, it's not about money. We demand that every student in New York State gets a quality education, and we, we demand that the money comes through a fair, clear, transparent funding formula. And this formula will help us by funding for our schools, less students per class, so teaching will be more one-on-one -on -one with the students and we can focus on their needs. See, I want a plan that can benefit my little brother who is in sixth grade, not getting the education and the funding he deserves. He needs to be given a better opportunity like more classes and security and supplies. They continue to build jails, we spend more money on wars in a day than we will spend in the education in the lives of children. More school funding could provide better teachers, more books, smaller class sizes, and an overall healthier environment as motivation for students of poor districts. It could also lead to a larger number of graduates. Because that's what it's all, it all comes down to the students, and it all comes down to the future of this country, and it all comes down to my kids that when they go to school they have the education that they need to succeed and go to college and have a great life, the American dream. I'd like to inform you all that we did invite Senator Johnson and Trunzo, but regrettably they aren't here. Their chairs are empty, and I guess they weren't able to make it. And I mean, me as a student, I know that if I'm absent from, to school, I get some type of consequence. Now that's just a question, a rhetorical question that y'all could ponder about. Has your child ever had to read an important passage for class from a textbook that has not been updated within the past two decades? Or has pages ripped out with nothing left but writing all over the, the other remaining pages? Or have they ever had to do a fundraiser for a club or needed to hold an event that promotes the arts within their school and received a hard time for it? I know the concert choir definitely has many times. I want to go to Harvard, I want to go to Yale, I want to go to Columbia University, and I have to deal with gangs. We ain't done yet! In the winter, our classrooms are about 42 degrees. We've actually checked. Even in today's age and society, how could it possibly be that people are still afraid to let other children succeed and be on an equal playing field with other children? We're still being held back. And to think about that today, to me, is scary. Because it sends a clear message. But we can change that message. We can start here today, tonight, by, again, by joining together as we have done and as we will continue to do. I thought we had got out of that age 35, 38 years ago. But apparently, look at the buildings that we're in. Look at the buildings that they're in. And again, we're looking for equality. We're looking for fairness. We're not asking for more than we deserve. We're just asking to be treated equal. Together, we can make an historic change in the way schools are funded in New York to bring equality. Bring it back now! We need a plan that will last for years. You can't touch this or this or this or this or this. Holla.
governor sent me here today to give his remarks and to give his words to you. So just indulge me for a second while I read his words. I want to recognize the Campaign for Fiscal Equity and the Alliance for Quality Education for their staunch commitment to the education of the children of this state. And I want to salute all of you assembled here today. Thank you for joining this great crusade. Your involvement is critically important because it allows our elected representatives to see that the people who elected them support this great educational movement. We need smaller class sizes, better middle and high schools, and so much more. I have proposed 1.4 billion more for education spending in the state, and I propose directing 80% of that new spending to the state's high needs school districts. There is no doubt that we can get this done by working together. I salute you, Elliot Spitzer, Governor of New York. Now that's a lot, but like Maurice said, it's not about the money, it's about equality, but that money is there to offer us the equality that we deserve. The reason why we must all support the rally for fair funding is so that every student in every school receives the same tools and opportunities for optimal learning in the classroom. started, but together we will win. education.